Hello, this is Mad Cat, the angry gal and carrying that discusses this and that. Today we're talking about the Honey Badgers ban from the Calgary Expo. And remember, if you don't like what someone's doing, you can always lie and say they're doing something bad to get them censored and banned. <clears throat> so, I mean, that's pretty much it right there. Um, I don't have a whole lot of specifics right now. I only really have what's going on with the voice from men and what's come from uh, Sage Gerard. Uh, the individual members I have not heard back from yet. Um, as some of you know, I am a member of the Honey Badgers. And even the members that are not in attendance right now are a little bit in the dark. <clears throat> no one... I don't know of any member that has heard of anything, but hopefully as some of one of us hears something, we'll update the others. And if I can, I'll update on my videos further from that. <clears throat> so I'm going to read a couple of articles and kind of discuss them real quick. And you can read these articles for yourself, but, you know, people like when other people read things, so... Breaking female creators banned from Calgary Comic Expo for asking questions at a feminist panel. Dun, dun, dun! Oh my God. Don't you know you're not supposed to ask feminist questions? What's wrong with you? Uh, sources close to a voice for men confirm what is already trending on Twitter as Expogate. Oh, man, I created the uh, hashtag uh, unban honey badgers. Expo gets so much better. The honey badger brigade, who appeared at Canada's largest comic expo, have had their booth stricken and have been informed that they are banned from all comic expos in Canada. Not just from the Calgary one, all of them. The reason given is that Allison Tiemann and Sage Gerard, a self-described honorary honey badger, attended a panel talk given by feminists and asked questions that challenged their narrative. Well, there's your problem. You challenge their narrative. Honey, uh, feminists don't like it when you do that. You can't burst their bubble. They get scared. The Honey Badger Brigade is a group of women creators, writers, artists, musicians um, who supported the consumer revolt known as Gamergate and challenged feminist assumptions and supported the human rights of men and boys. God bless them. And this is an atheist saying this. So, and there have been a number of people who've commented on this. Um, you, 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 big red. <clears throat> so, yeah. Um, <clears throat> now there's a further article, an update that came out at 12.55 p.m. Um, and I'll go ahead and read this real quick as well. Uh, Sage Gerard has informed us that the Honey Badger Brigade has absolutely been banned from every event owned by the Fan Expo Canada. I mean, it's one thing to get banned from an expo specifically, but all of them? I mean, you have to hand it to the Honey Badgers. They really are an all-or-nothing sort of group. <clears throat> Allison Tiemann was isolated by security, and security refused to allow anyone else to hear them having their discussion with Tiemann. They then threatened to escort all members of the Honey Badger Brigade out if they did not leave immediately. Security returned with Allison to the booth to inform all present that they were asked to leave. Security noticed that a tape recorder was running and refused to state a specific reason why they were being asked to leave. Further conversations with security have indicated that the cause for their expulsion was due to at least 20 allegations of harassments by attendees and possible panel members by members of the Honey Badger Brigade. 
in this panel discussion, by the way, if you hear those little chimes, it means that people are retweeting about this event. I made sure that it got out there to one of the biggest resources I know, Mercedes Carrera. <clears throat> um, okay, so in this panel discussion, only Allison Tiemann and Sage Gerard were ever present from the Honey Badger Brigade. They have a recording of the entire panel discussion. Smart. According to Gerard, the recording shows there was zero harassment of anyone. The honey badgers have fragmented around the Calgary as they were looking into what can be done about this and figuring out what they're going to do for the rest of the duration of the expo. Now, just to note, a few members of the honey badger brigade are Canadian. Um, and yeah, we make fun of them for it. But there are a few members, um, I believe Rachel Edwards and Hannah Wallen, um, and Sage Gerard, the honorary badger, uh, he, he's a badger, um, who are not Canadian. They're American. They come from the United States, obviously. And, you know, they pretty much set aside their schedules. They, you know, uprooted their lives to go to this thing because of the importance. So being banned from it within a I think was this the first or second day of the expo. Um, if it's anything like Phoenix Comic Con, then this is technically the first day, even though it was up yesterday. I don't know specifics. So this is very disheartening that they were banned from it. And all because and let's go back to some fun pictures. I love this poster, by the way. Although at first I thought this was must have been freaking huge because that light up top kind of looks like the sky. But I, I, while it's probably big, I don't think it's that big. Although that would be cool, wouldn't it? But, you know, I feel bad for my fellow Badgers because they, because they, really, they were really looking forward to this. And they still get to spend time with each other, and that's all well and nice. But, you know, this is just, this is really bad. This is really bad implications that, you know, if you speak against the feminist narrative, this is what happens. You get banned. Censorship is a weapon. It's not about, you know, freedom of speech. It's not about protecting people's rights or even their feelings the the only feeling that's valid to have is the one that feminists allow you to have and if you and if it's decided that your <clears throat> feeling or opinion or right is invalid by the establishment they're going to crush you <clears throat> i don't know i i'm kind of feeling the uh, Obi-Wan quote right now that says, if you strike me down, I will be more powerful than you can imagine. And I think it's relevant here. That, um... <clears throat> Hold on, let me enlarge this. Yeah, let's get the badger in our face here. This is only going to make us more powerful. It's only going to make the badgers more powerful. And this is what the feminists don't understand. That when you censor a group, I mean, especially the honey badgers, that's predominantly female, that was created by females, that's run by females. I mean, if it was some man group, no one would really give a shit. But you attacked women. And while they themselves would never use their um, privilege as being female as a weapon. Other people will. Um, you know, my Twitter feed right now, my timeline um, is being full here. Let me kind of show you. You know, I've got a lot of people right here, a lot of notifications um, going on about this event so far i've gotten six retweets and five favorites 
And I imagine that this is going to be going on for quite some time. So, but more than that, the honey badgers actually do a lot of positive things. Is really putting the voice out there. And feminists, if your main tactic against them is to get them banned, you are so stupid. So, so stupid. I mean, <laughs> this is the dumbest thing you could have done. You banned them. That's only going to make them martyrs. People are going to rally behind them because not only have they been banned from the Calgary Expo, but from all expos owned by this group in Canada. Hell, why don't you get it for America and Europe too while you're at it? Really make them infamous. Hell, I'm wondering if I should go to Phoenix Comic Con as a member of the Honey Badgers and say, I'm here on behalf of the Honey Badgers. Now ban me, bitch. I mean, I'm already kind of scared of going to Phoenix Comic Con being in support of Gamergate and being in support of the sad puppies. But I might as well get the trifecta right now. Gamergate, sad puppies, and Honey Badger. I'll be hated for three different reasons. And that's before they get to my penis. I mean, wow. You just, you have no idea what you've done. And I can't wait to see the fallout from this. Now, you know, this might be, be being blown out of proportion. This might be some rumors, although I seriously doubt it coming from Sage R Gerard. Um, I have a lot of respect for Sage. So we don't know a whole lot of details yet, but if there's a tape recording, I'm sure there's going to be a Honey Badger show where we listen to that, or at least I hope so. Um, and the fact that, you know, security had to get them all to leave, this is monumental. This is probably one of the biggest things to happen to the Honey Badger group um, ever. And feminists, you done fucked up. That's all I have to say. Now, it's really not much more to say than that. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please share it, pass it around, and um, let the world know that when you speak against the feminist, they will ban you. They will get you banned from events that was designed for an open forum of discussion. But that's just a lie. No, no, no. It's not an open forum. It's a censored forum. And that's what panels are becoming. That's what um, Comic Cons and Comic Expos are becoming. You know, I would love to have this as a t shirt. I'll walk into Phoenix Comic Con itself. I'm from Arizona, by the way. That's why I keep saying Phoenix Comic Con. I will walk into Phoenix Comic Con with this shirt on and say, you know, unban honey badgers. Anywho, this is Mad Cat signing off.